On April 26, the world lost an icon. Hall of Famer, Grand Ole Opry member, and Kennedy Center honoree George Jones, the man widely believed to be the greatest country singer of all time, passed away at the age of 81. Body, body, Lightning. From his number one hit, White Lightning, in 1959, to his final top 20 hit with Patti Loveless, You Don't Seem to Miss Me, in 1998, the life and career of the man nicknamed the Possum was a roller coaster of highs and lows, glowing with accolades but stained by alcohol and drug abuse, leading to another nickname, No Show Jones. That is until his wife Nancy helped George clean up his life. George did not just leave an impact, but a massive crater in the landscape of music. Everybody loved him. You know, he couldn't do anything that was going to make anybody so mad that they weren't going to go see or listen to George Jones. I mean, he, he just was that kind of guy. And then we've lost a, one of the greatest voices out there, you know, and a great person and a great friend and such an inspiration. And the good thing is that we can take, though, is we have his music. So it'll live forever. And, and uh, he brought so much joy and happiness to so many people through his songs you know that and we still have that and and we're fortunate in that way but it's a sad day for the loss i would like to leave behind uh, better feelings with my fans especially and friends that are bad things that i did you know those those keep haunting you and uh most people forgive and hopefully they have, and uh, I don't hate nobody. And uh, I'd like to be remembered as, as uh, someone that sang and, and somebody I like to hear. George Jones, dead at the age of 81. No one will ever fill his shoes. He stopped loving Today. This is gonna be one of those nights. Tim McGraw's summer is officially underway as he kicks off his Two Lanes of Freedom tour this week. I caught up with the singer at a last minute rehearsal stop in Nashville where Tim gave me the scoop on what fans can expect out on the road. I'm a fan of music, and so I try to approach a show when I'm putting it together as a, how I would want to see a show if I was a fan. You sort of want everybody to want to just jump in this stream of music. It's like white water rapping, you know? Yeah. It's like you, you just want a great set of rapids, but a great boat that you can trust. And you just want to get in there and go. And that's sort of the, tr the show that we try to build. The biggest challenge is obviously how to format the show, how to create that set list each and every year. That's the toughest thing, because I think we've got like 24 songs in a, in a two hour, 10 minute to our 15 minute show. Nine number one hits have to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So it's tough. Well, we don't even get that yeah, many because we get all that. Yeah. I think we're doing six or seven new ones off the new album, and we're doing two or three album cuts that are some of my favorites. Cool thing is, all right, next year we'll, we can do some of the hits that we didn't do this year. Yeah. You know, and then a couple different album cuts. So it's always a different show for us, and that's what makes it cool. Visit headlinecountry.net for more tour details, including how and where you can catch Tim all summer long. Speaking of trouble, Taylor Swift has just found herself in the middle of another interesting love triangle, but this one is not what you might think. The musical genius is amidst a three-way tie for the most nominations at the 2013 Billboard Music Awards. With 11 nods in all, Taylor tops the list alongside Grammy favorite fun and pop rock act Maroon 5. Along with her all-genre top artist and top female artist nods, Swift's Red will compete in the top 200 album and country album categories as well. Jason Aldean, Luke Bryan, Carrie Underwood, and Lionel Richie also earn props in the country album slot, while Taylor, Luke, Carrie, Hunter Hayes, and Jason, who also earned an all-genre top male artist nod, will duke it out for the top country artist title. Baby. A 
ACM New Artist of the Year, Florida Georgia Line, earned their first nomination for Country Song of the Year with Cruz and joins the likes of Brian's Drunk on You, Hayes's Wanted, Eric Church's Springsteen, and Taylor's We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. Winners will be announced live Sunday, May 19th on ABC.